Alright guys, welcome back to another Oblivion Guide. This time, I'm going to show you how to get Daedric Armor at level 1. All I need is about a Conjuration, I believe, at 75, at least. So, basically you want to grab every bound spell you can find in the game, unless you're on the PC, then use the console to give you a bunch of money and do it, and move your Conjuration to 75, I guess, I don't know. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to get, like, the weapons and such. So weapons, I'm going to start off with a dagger. It's the same thing for every other weapon. So what you want to do is you want to cast the weapon. And you can keep on doing this all the time. But then you want to head down, all the way down to your summons. Yeah, I cheated to get all the minor spells. Leave me alone. Um. Oh yeah, I remember that. Uh, and you want to grab something weak, like a skeleton or a scamp as an enemy target. I usually like skeletons because they're actually pretty easy. Put on the weakest difficulty or something, just kill your pump, just kill the enemy with the bound weapon until it has 99 on the heart or the health. Then what you want to do is you want to use a repair hammer. If you're not at 100, then try and do that. And just recover it down to, I guess, until 99, unless you have your armor scout journeyman. Then just get it down to... Oh yeah, so you cannot be driving until I'm done with the current action. Then drop it. And then wait until the timer goes out. So unless just shoot the weapon if it's a weapon. Then you're able to pick back up the weapon and say, Hey look, I got a dagger. It's a bound one and it's stronger than any other weapon in the game. It's weightless, which is actually really awesome. It you can't sell it for any cash though. But you got a weapon that's worthy for you, and it's uh pretty good. For armor that is though. Hmm. Armor, armor. How, how am I supposed to get the bound armor then? Well, it's depending on your piece of armor. Um, you want to... Yeah, I have a spell it's for you too. Um, that's only if it's in a cave or something. Uh, if you grab the Curus, which I believe is the last longer, uh, you want to grab the Curus, equip it, and then what you want to do is you want to go do the same exact spell again. I'm actually going to hockey the some of the skeletons so I don't want to go too far for it. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. So then you want to summon the skeleton, this time, you know the dagger I, I was using before? Unequip that and make sure your hand-to-hand -hand skill is not a hundred or something. Mine is, so I'm gonna kill. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. Hit. So then you want to go to if you if you are higher and then one hit them, try and go to something that can't be hit or can't die by one hitted. So I'm gonna go with the Daedroth. Hit him about three times. The summoned creature will try and attack you. Do not kill it until it hits you, and you look at the armor, and your armor is at 99. Oh, or lower. 95, in this case, would be the highest amount. All bound armor are light armor, except for the Curus and the Greaves, I believe. Unless, they, unless I got an update and they changed it. So then you want to do that, and then you want to make sure you're not doing anything, and then just drop it. And then, until it drops, do anything you want. You can have fun, wait till the seconds run out, or you can just wait. Not ha not that, because I was actually trying to get all the stuff now to do this guy. So then you just wait an hour and you go, hmm, I'm gonna wait about an hour, and poof! It should be disappeared. But what's in the middle of the floor? You say, hmm, it's armor. Then you can do that for the Greaves too, just do the exact same thing as I said before. Let's just go all the way to back to the top. I'm just gonna have to wait to remove all of my spells. <laughs> still be able to keep like all of them there. Then you just go with the boots and then you go with the bow. I think the bow would just be like just try and make sure the opponent you want it to hit or just trying to go after that. And then again go with the Daedroth. Or something even the minus summon monster too. They're pretty good. Just make sure you don't have the highest difficulty on and just get killed by one. Um no, let's 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 put some variety. Let's put a leech a uh, leech on for size. He, he has to at least hit the. Uh... Yeah, I have like reflect uh, attacks too, but it should hit the armor. Oh, the uh, boots wore off. Yeah, the boots wore off. Okay, so then, bit, but another way to do it is if you have a disintegrate armor on yourself kind of spell. So let's see if I. 
There's also another way to get your conjuration skill up. If you keep on using the dagger to get like the 25s and you just keep on using that, you get that kind of stuff. It's pretty good. But if not, just do what I do with the boots and all that. So if you get to, to no, I think it's expert on journeyman. So if you get up to expert, what you do is you do this. Go to the repair hammer. As you see, I didn't take any damage, but as soon as it changes, the variables change, and then as soon as you drop it, poof, there you go, you got the boots. Now, let's go and get the armor. Or the grease is next. Let's, uh, cast this uh, bad boy on. And then we're just gonna drop it, like we did with the other stuff. I'm just gonna hit it up to 125 and drop it. Like I do to all the other armor that I'm wearing. And uh, since I don't want to look nude in the video, or you know what I mean by nude, uh, let's just wait an hour and all of them should be revealed or removed. But they're all here, so they don't actually get removed. And then the helmet, then the gauntlets, or whatever. The gauntlets, the gauntlets, and the dagger, I believe you can use at level, or if your conjuration's at 25, I believe. They're still in an action, so, yeah. So you just drop it, and then you just go to the next item. Hmm, what should be the next item be? Oh, a shield. I need a shield. I need a shield, you know? Oh, you actually have to have a weapon equipped, too, for this to work. So what we'll do is you want to grab a weapon that requires one. Let's go get a mace. And then what you do is you go with the repair hammer and you do it exactly what I said before. Just keep on clicking these. Remember what I said before about dropping them? Yeah, do that again. So just drop the shield, drop the mace when you can, and for the, get rid of the mace one, you just sheathe your weapon because if you sheathe the bound should be the bound weapons and armor no when you sheathe the weapons are supposed to be gone uh, I'm gonna wait an hour and because of first I'm gonna drink while the hour's going by there we go or you can wait either way but it's faster if you just do this we got the shield now we're gonna get the helmet then we're gonna get all the weapons so, it's basically like Daedric Armor, but weightless, and some of it's light, so. Pretty awesome. I'm just gonna minimize that, so it takes less time for me to go through it all. Then just go to the armor, then you just go, oh, raw. Then, there's the helmet. Now we got all the bound armor, but what about the weapons? What do I do with the weapons? Well, the weapons are basically the same idea. Except for you, for the bow, I don't, I think you have to just defend with the bow. Like, as soon as you start punching, grab the bow, do this. As soon as they hit, punch, and then try and, or use arrows. It's pretty self-explanatory. Then, repair. You don't really have to repair to 125, I just feel like it, because then it just makes it seem like it's just overpowered. Then you just get that, then you just do this. Poof, the bow should be disappeared, but it's right there. And it's an easy way to test out soul gems, too. See if they're good for what you have. So that's pretty cool. Now we got the war axe, the sword, and I think that is it. Yeah, that's it. And this is all the bound spells you can actually get in the game. I think there's like... It's like 10, I think. Let's see. No, it's like 11. Not bad, because 6 armor, 5 weapons. Yeah, yeah that seems right. And just do this, you can do the same thing if you're an expert, just keep on doing this, just click, oh, well, I got my, uh, war axe all the way, so let's just, uh, drop it, and then let's just do this, oh, now we only got one more weapon left, and it's the strongest sword in the game that's actually legit, from what I hear, it is the bound sword, the bound sword has a 31 in the game, Some weapons you can technically say are better than the bound uh, sword because they're higher magic enchanted, but they have better enchants. Until you're done. And it's a claymore too, so you actually know it's actually pretty powerful. And then there we go. So we got all the bound stuff. So let's look at the uh, combined stats of all of them. And they're all weightless, so 
you got armor that's weightless. And I believe, if I hear the Grand Ring of the Ages, if I actually grab all this, I think it's around 85. Yes, yeah, 64. No, wait. No, wait, 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 wait. No, no. I keep on clicking on things. 85 with heavy armor at 100. And your restoration is up by 6. <laughs> so it's all this. Sorry for that. All the skills basically 100. All these 100 except for agility and endurance, which I don't think actually goes with anything. Well, it kind of does, but eh, whatever. What can you do? Right? So there you go. So all the bound stuff is pretty good. Uh, I think the best one handed would actually have to be the mace. But the sword is definitely the best. Then you got the mace, then you got the axe. The bow is pretty good too. But you also got the dagger. For the armor, it's pretty self explanatory. See, the bound boots are light, heavy. Uh, light, uh, light, 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 and then heavy. So basically what a lot of people usually like to do is, well, if you do have, uh, since the most weighted, uh, items in the entire, yeah, there's, uh, Kyrgyz, or, uh, Kerrigan, something like that from a mod. Um, what a lot of people usually do, and I actually really do do this, um, since currently bound, the bound curse, or the Daedra Curse is the most weighted item in the entire set of armors in the entire game. And considering... I'm trying to find the Ring of Gods, but apparently I can't find it. Hot Wheel. Oh. Oh. Probably because it's out of there. Why is it out of there? I don't know. Um... A lot of people usually uh, do this. They keep the bound Curse and they keep the bound uh, Greaves. But they put the normal Daedric stuff on instead of the bound stuff. I can I can understand why, but it just makes no sense. Because combine this, it creates 85 if you're heavy armor or light armor. I think it's heavy armor and light armor all the way. So you don't really need to worry about that too much. You don't really have to worry about it too much, but eh. Like, what can you do? It's the console. You can do it through the console. You can give yourself the armor and weapons, too. Or you can just go to the testing hall. Which is usually what every, every person would like to do. I can go to the testing hall right now. If I go to Coral, because I downloaded a mod. Because, for some reason, this computer, uh, well, laptop, uh, and my Acer laptop, which is the one that's broken currently, Well, this one screen's broken. You guys don't get to see the effects of it. Now, as you guys see that um, one video, then you guys will be able to see what happened. Uh, nobody's still using the chat. I feel so sorry for myself. Oh, Runetail, I forgot about you. I have to do your quest whenever I get the chance to, which I will never do, so ha! I'm the High Chancellor, so everybody's like, oh, oh, don't care. Okay, you're here. You're the High Chancellor. We don't give a shit. Now I go here, then you go to the store, and you go, Oh, it's there, guys. And then you just go, Oh, it's the testing hall. I didn't use console or anything. So now let's, let's go loot. Let's go loot stuff. This is basically where I go to get all the stuff, is I just go here. That's what I did in my let's play for the, uh, Grey Ages and all. I just went there. Um, weapons warehouse, clothing warehouse. What's in here? Yeah, and I can't leave either, so I gotta use, like, quick saves. Oh. It's like every food item in the game. And apparel. And the door is somehow missing, too. Even though there's clearly a door there. Um, yeah. So, so compared to the Daedric armor, the light parts are... I believe not as strong as the you have uh, their heavy counterparts, back, but they're still pretty good. As I said, it's just something about the weight. You can enchant the I bound armor too, but the bound armor is not just a spell armor that cannot be used as an enchanting. I don't know what happens if you actually enchant the armor. Can you still drop it, or does it keep the enchantment, or does it just go like? Oh, you enchanted the armor that's going away. Sorry, because that's just a waste. I don't know. 
it's just cool that uh, they actually decided to do that. It's kind of cool. So let's go to the armor warehouse, which can change in the testing hall, depending. Oh crap! Now I have to go find it. <laughs> Getting her over here. Um. Game. Okay, there's a Daedric helmet. Uh, there's an amber stuff. Uh, there's a light raiment of valor. Uh, there's uh, bands of the chosen. No, don't do that knowledge you actually did beat the main story or you're about to do the main story because you they'll never get it you'll never be able to take them off um there are heavy counterparts or somewhere here oh so the heavy ones are just basically like they're a, they have like a lot more weights to them i think they add like a total of 60 at the end or somewhere around there so that's it. They just add a little bit more protection, too. So it's just there. So goodbye, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. Goodbye, guys.